China is not just a consumer of pork. It is, in fact, the biggest pork consumer on the planet. Every year, the country imports a staggering amount to satisfy its domestic needs, with the market value for these imports soaring to around $3.5 billion. Historically, producers from the European Union have dominated this market, particularly countries like Spain, Denmark and the Netherlands. Together, they hold approximately 51% of the Chinese pork import market, with Spain alone accounting for about 21%. But it's not just about quantity. The EU pork industry is known for its high quality products and robust supply chain, which have made it the go-to supplier for China. However, as global trade environments shift, this long-standing dominance is beginning to face serious challenges. The first cracks in this stronghold have started to appear due to rising trade tensions between China and the EU. In July, the EU imposed a temporary tariff of up to 37.6% on electric vehicles imported from China. This decision created a significant economic imbalance, prompting a swift response from China. Almost immediately, China launched anti-dumping investigations into pork imports from Denmark, the Netherlands and Spain, sending shockwaves through the EU pork industry. The timing couldn't be worse. The EU pork producers, who have long depended on the Chinese market, now find themselves grappling with unprecedented challenges. This move has not only disrupted trade, but has also shaken the foundations of an industry that is deeply intertwined with China's demand for pork. Following China's announcement of the anti-dumping investigations, the EU wasted no time in addressing the situation. Spanish officials were among the first to voice their concerns. Economy and Trade Minister Carlos Cuá emphasized the importance of avoiding a trade war, stating, we're working with the EU to find solutions that protect our products without harming the industry. His counterpart, Spanish Agriculture Minister Luis Plas, shared an optimistic outlook, hoping for negotiations that would avert tariffs on agricultural goods. Meanwhile, industry groups in France and Denmark echoed these sentiments. Richard, president of the French Pork Exporters Association, acknowledged the need to prepare for potential fallout. France relies on China for about 18% of its pork export revenue, and with rising competition from cheaper pork exports from Brazil and the US, the situation has become even more precarious. The Danish Agriculture and Food Council also issued warnings about the dire consequences that any restrictions on European meat imports would have on Denmark's pork industry. As these tensions rise, China has already begun to scale back its pork imports from major EU suppliers. Recent data reveals a 12% drop in imports from France and a 10% decline from Chile. Even the Netherlands has seen a 7% decrease, while imports from the US have dropped by 3%. This shift indicates China's intent to diversify its pork sources, which is a significant departure from its previous dependence on EU producers. In stark contrast, Russian pork producers are stepping up to fill the void. Konstantin Kovalov, head of the Russian National Pork Association, announced ambitious plans to capture 10% of China's pork import market within the next three to four years. If successful, this would mark a major shift, pushing the EU out of its dominant position in China's pork market. The groundwork for this change was laid when China lifted its ban on Russian pork imports in September of the previous year. By February, three Russian companies were approved to begin exporting pork to China. Fast forward to June, and the Russian Export Center's senior vice president, Gus Gav, confidently stated that Russia aims to be among the top three suppliers of pork to China. To facilitate this, they have even initiated a, a dedicated meat line for quicker access to the Chinese market. According to data from the European Commission in 2023, the EU exported more than 610,000 tons of pork and related products to China, accounting for 54% of total pork imports, while this number is still impressive. Projections suggest that by the end of 2024, Russian pork exports to China could reach over 50,000 tons. 
Looking even further ahead, by 2030, Russia could provide up to a third of the increase in China's pork demand, significantly undercutting the EU's influence. The China Animal Husbandry Association has highlighted that the EU has historically been China's largest supplier of pork and pork byproducts, holding an average market share of 54% from 2020 to 2023. In 2023, the dumping margin for EU products was over 60%, allowing EU pork to enter the Chinese market at low prices. Yet with the EU grappling with overcapacity in pork production, averaging 4.26 million tonnes annually, China is becoming an increasingly tempting target for this excess supply. As Russia's market share in China's pork imports increases, now over 5% a rise from 4.3% in June, the EU's position looks increasingly vulnerable. Spain, in particular, risks suffering a severe decline in its market share. Reports indicate that in 2023 alone, China imported $6 billion worth of pork, with over half coming from the EU. If the anti-dumping measures lead to restrictions, the consequences could be disastrous for the EU pork industry. In light of these critical developments, the EU has started to explore compromises. The recent announcements indicate a reduction in punitive tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles aimed at easing tensions. However, these concessions seem limited, primarily targeting Tesla and a few EU-affiliated companies while offering minor reductions for other manufacturers. This tepid response likely falls short of the Chinese government's expectations, widening the existing rift. The growing cooperation between China and Russia serves as a stark warning to the EU. In today's interconnected world, no market can thrive in isolation. Mutual benefits can only be achieved through respectful and cooperative engagement. As the EU grapples with the repercussions of its unilateral policies, it must seek dialogue and compromise to reclaim its position in the Chinese pork market. Without this, the future looks uncertain for EU pork producers, particularly in countries like Spain, Denmark and the Netherlands. Losing access to such a significant market would not only result in direct economic losses, but could also threaten the very survival of these industries. The shifting landscape of the pork trade highlights the complexities of global trade dynamics. As we move forward, the ability of the EU to navigate these challenges will be crucial. Restoring trust and fostering long-term stable trade relations with China will require a commitment to fair and mutually beneficial cooperation. Thank you for watching. If you found this analysis insightful, please like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think the future holds for the pork trade between China and the EU? Let's discuss.